Hi guys, call Java tutorial part 4. Here, Prabish with you. In the fourth part of this tutorial, I am going to explain how to create an object of a class and how to access a class methods or variables using that object. Here is the syntax for creating an object of a class. Class name. Object name is equal to new keyword class name. There is a function bracket is here. Okay. Class name is the name of the class for which you want to create the object. Object name is any Java valid identifier and here is the assignment operator. New is the keyword for creating an object of a class. Here again the name of the class and it also have a function bracket here. Okay guys, now I am going to create a simple program that demonstrates how to create an object and how to use that object. So here is the example. I just create a class, class with name my class. Here is the opening bracket and here is the closing bracket of this class. In this class, I am going to create a method for just printing a message on the screen. So here I am just creating a method public void display. Display method. Here is the opening bracket of that method, and here I am closing that method. So here is the statement that print the message system dot out dot print ln hello from display method. Okay, fine. Now I am going to create the main method of this class. Here is I am here I am create the main method public static void main. Here is the command line argument string. Okay, here is the opening bracket of main method. Here is close. I just print a message here also. Print ln. Hello from main method. Okay. Guys, I am going to save this program. So I comment all this. I am going to save this program in D drive of my computer. So save us. I just name it as my class dot java okay now I am successfully saved this program and now I am going to compile this program so I just open up the command prompt and compile the program java c my class dot java Here some ls are present my class dot java okay it's not java it is jac again I compile java c my class dot java so the java path is not correctly settled in my computer so I going to set the java path here Again, I compile Java C my class dot Java. 
is not my class this is my class dot java I just going to the D drive no such a class is present here I think I save it in some other places so again save us and <coughs> again I am going to save the program in the D drive my class dot java ok now I am save it it's in the D drive again I compile ok guys now you can see that the program is successfully compiled without an error now I am just running the program java my class here you can see the message that is written in the main method only appear hello from main method this is because <coughs> the java compiler or jvm has only access to the main method only and there is also a method called a display method but uh, any jvm or any java compiler has not able to access any java class or java method without an object of that class so we in order to access the display method uh, we need an object of this class my class so in the main method now I am going to create an object of the class so here the class name is my class now I am going to create an object identifier here it is obj is equal to the keyword new my class and function bracket now I am successfully created an object of the class obj is the object of class my class and for in order to access a method in, in that class we need to call that method using that object so we use the dot operator for invoking a method inside a class using the object of that class so here the object is obj dot operator and name of the method is display method so I just call that method here display method again I save the program again I go I'm going to compile it now you can see that the display method containing a message is also displayed here that is hello from main method and hello from display method this is the way we creating an object of a class and access a method inside that class using that object ok guys also it is possible to call create an object without the reference of that class here obj is the object reference variable it is possible to create an object without an object reference that means it is possible to create an object by using only this single statement new my class so here I am not going to use any object reference variable for calling that method I just using the new keyword for calling my method that is new my class dot display method this is also legal because here we creating an object using the new keyword of the class my class and also I am calling uh, the main the method display method for in that class by using the dot operator here we are not using any object reference variable but here also we create an object of this class I also save this now I am going to compile it now you can see that here also no errors are present because uh, this is also a legal statement for creating an object of a class so now I am going to run this program java my class guys you can see that here also the output is obtained without an uh, any error ok guys thank you for watching in the next part of this tutorial I am going to explain how to create multiple classes in the same program and how to link these classes by using objects Ok guys, for further updates, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching. See you in the next part.